Hey everybody, we are at Elephant Whispers in Hazy View, South Africa, and today we're going to be adopting an elephant, which means we'll be donating money that'll help fund the elephant for an entire year for its vet bills, food, hey, treats, and go. everything like that. Also, we did our homework on this place, and at the end of the video, we did a quick little interview with the guy that basically runs this entire place and cares for all of the elephants, that explains where they all came from, and that they were all orphaned and essentially saved to be here. They're all free roaming as well. So, without further ado, enjoy the video, because uh, this one's pretty cool. And yeah, at the end of it, we adopt one. So, hey! Woo! And you probably learn a lot about the elephant. So, enjoy the video. Woo! Bro, can you hear how hungry I am? Yeah! <laughs> this is insane. Pretty cool. The elephants are smarter than me. It's like giving me yeah. a treat. <laughs> Wait, what? They even know their gender? They even know their gender. Girls and boys. Tifus macronata, which is the scientific name of the buffalo thorn, and Zizifus is about 22 years old. <laughs> he can drink. Legally. Yeah, about 300 liters a day. That's tight. That's pretty good. Wow. That's tight. Same boy, he's 36 years old and he weighs over 6 tons. He stands at 3.4 meters shoulder high, meaning he still have to grow almost half a meter to be fully grown. Elephants, they eat 5% of their body weight. So a big elephant like Tembo, it can feed around 300 to 500 kilograms of food every day. You put some pellets in one end like this, and you come up in front. With the other hand, you hold this trunk, and you drop some pellets in the trunk. Slowly, slowly, slowly. After that, you give him a pet on the trunk. You just touch it up. Left hand, you hold the task, and pose for the picture. After that, you can drain your gym and turn and start to fill the texture of this very one. So, Bro, this is an alien. No. It is. Give him a pen from the trunk. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, the okay, that's my shirt. Okay, to your next time. I know. Wow. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then come and feel easy. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That's nuts. Feel easy. You're a You're a big puppy. Oh, I got nothing for you. I ain't, I ain't got nothing for you. No. Uh, Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, I heard that. Wow. Feel over there. That's my shoulder, Oh, <laughs> 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 For real. For real. How you doing, babe? For real. That's crazy. You gotta see its tail. Oh, and can we keep him? Yeah. <laughs> he might fit in the car. Oh, yeah. Or you can brush your teeth with this. Should we? Oh wow. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it feels like metal. <gasps> Comb your hair. Go ahead, babe. Comb, Comb your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that his trunk was like that. No, it was like an alien. <laughs> that was his mouth's mouth. His mouth has a tail that's a mouth. was indeed happy, now you're telling me it's over. Oh my. wonder what's next, you know we're getting older.
and the ears of the African elephants they are being designed as the map of Africa. In South Africa, we are down here. Give it to Willard. Oh. oh. Please feed me like that later. Someone, please feed me like that. If you feel uncomfortable, tell the groom to stop the elephant and get you comfortable. Roll the dice, you don't look twice. Roll the dice, roll the dice. Roll the dice, you don't look twice. Roll the dice. Hey, Corey. Hey, bro. You got an elephant too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. What year is yours? Uh, 04. Oh, nice. You got the Hemi? Yeah. Nice. Six. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Pretty dope. <laughs> He did it before I did. Never in a million years that I thought I'd be smacking elephants Katukas. <laughs> Especially from on top of it, huh? No saying. No saying. I also want to let you know that every time you say, do you know what I'm saying, I typically don't. Well, this is a black thing. Do you know the name of your elephant? Of course. Do you know the name of my elephant, Elton? No. I'm not going to tell you that. Why? What's the name of your elephant? Don't worry about it. What's the name of your elephant, don't worry about your oh, elephant Corey? He doesn't know her name. You know what, Corey? Typical fashion for you to ride a lady and not know her name. Oh, <laughs> What's your name, Mr. Elephant? John. Oh. What? Corey, return the favor, let him ride on your back. Oh. <laughs> How about I just give him a belly rub? Okay, that works. <laughs> what do you look like you're about to do an anime attack? Okay. So how was that, everyone? Amazing. Pretty amazing. Do we all feel like we learned a lot about elephants? Learned that when you go up a hill, when you go downhill, and their bristles, they can feel everything. They can even feel a mosquito. Really? Mm -hmm. We also have bagel bites. No, that's true. Mm -hmm. so, I learned that they poop really big poops. So really big. basically what oh. I'm hearing is you learn something that applies to every animal. You learn something that's incredibly obvious. And he learned that there's bagel bites. Do you want one? Yeah, they're pretty good. The African elephant and Asian elephant are different in 22 different ways. Mm -hmm. What are those 22 different ways? I'll give you two. Why do I take you guys on these things? Because we're funny! I got a thick thing in my hand that looks like a bagel. I might bite it. <laughs> Elton, those jeans look pretty good on you. I'm not gonna lie. Did you just. Oh! I'm gonna throw up. 
It's recording a time lapse and all it's going to hear is your weird ass audio. We're at the stables, so i um, asking, is this where they sleep every night? Yeah. <clears throat> and when do they go out or do they stay in here all the time? About 7 tomorrow morning. Got it. Okay. And what do they do in between all the tours? They free roaming. Got okay. it. That little dam that we went over yeah, on, the ride, yeah. on the walk, that's their um, swimming pool. Oh. And then there you got the Sabi River, and the Sabi River's perennial, oh, goes yeah. all year, and sometimes they go and swim in there. Got, that's the river yeah. that goes all through the national park, right? Yeah, that's okay. Sabi. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. How do you get them to go back when it's time? You call them by name. <laughs> Tim will come. Zizi come. <laughs> they do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Mm. And now they're having right. dinner. Yeah. So all night they'll eat yeah. on that. So an elephant lie down to sleep. A lot of people don't know this because you don't see it. It's really uncommon to see it in the wild because yeah. they're vulnerable. But yeah, it's a safe environment. They go down. Got it. So they'll lie down for an hour, two hours, get up, feed, go down, get up. Run. Training centers in a different province up north. Okay. Yeah. And then how do you guys train them? Bring them in from the wild, you put them into stables and you spend 724 with them. Just time with them. Got it. So you gotta the first thing you gotta do is build up a trust. Yeah, you entice them with oranges and stuff to try and get that, that trust factor going. Once you've got the trust, then you gotta start working on the bond. And when you got that trust and the bond with them, then you start working on the commands you wanna teach them to do. The whole process takes about two years. It's a long, slow process. And then how did you guys end up with the elephants? Like, where did they come from? Every reserve in the country today has got a carrying capacity, okay? And Kruger's a good example. Kruger's got a carrying capacity for seven and a half thousand. The latest count they've done, they estimate the figure to be between 26 to 28,000. So it's got three times its carrying capacity and it's just too much, it can't sustain. And that's like most reserves. So reserves they come from, numbers started to climb, get out of control. When that happens, you have to go in and cull. We call it culling. You shoot them, bring the numbers back down, maintain the balance, which you have to do. We saved as many as we could, domesticated them and trained them for this purpose, to give guests like yourselves the opportunity to be able to get up close and personal with an African elephant and also educate you on them. So they're like um, ambassadors for the species out there. Got it. So, yeah. Awesome. Hey man, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. No we had a great time. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm tired of driving, so we're gonna do a little challenge. There's a metal sign back there, and we have all these weird fruits. The last one to hit the sign is driving for the night. Oh! Okay. <laughs> God, oh no, no, no. Is the car okay? Elton, Elton, Elton. What? Elton, this oh. one looks big. This one looks big. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. You have 10 seconds to urinate. Don't look at my wiener. I'm gonna look at your wiener. Did you say he sees eyes? Straight in front of us. Fuck. Where? Is that eyes? Down? Oh my god, is that eyes? That was like a fucking giant Those bear. Those eyes right there. What the fuck is that? Wait, what? what is it? And we're here. We've been to a lot of cool places, but this is this is pretty sweet. Yeah. It's a tree house. Alright, for those who can't tell, we're in a tree house right now. Whoa! Oh my god, the massive Look at the bathroom. trees coming through the wall. That's cool. Oh my god, keeps coming. Whoa! This is sick, dude. Until a monkey just comes in here. And this is crazy. Wow. Dude, I'm gonna come out here tomorrow morning, take a shower. There's gonna be a monkey taking a poop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. This is sick. Like, we're in a tree house. Yeah. This is like a childhood dream, like. Mm -hmm. Big ass tree house. Yeah, they can't tell we're actually like, oh, we're up in the tree. That's our car down there. Yeah. Yeah.